In this video, we're turning a PC into a fish tank. I'm even going to surprise everyone by adding the world's smallest puffer fish. I bought this PC case to make an awesome gaming PC, but that was almost 12 months ago. And the longer I looked at it collecting dust, the more it looked like a fish tank. But it certainly isn't waterproof. This is gonna need some serious modifications. Now, I've built some crazy tanks before, like this washing machine fish tank and this Minecraft turtle. So I think I'm up for the challenge. And I have a challenge for you. Can you spot these characters hidden somewhere in this video? But we have one big problem. There's gonna be almost no space left for the computer parts. I mocked up this 3D model and you're gonna have less than two inches of space to work with. So here's the game plan. The tank will hold 10 gallons of water at the front and then hopefully house the rest of the computer components at the back. But fitting the tank in here is going to be a super tight squeeze. Hopefully my local acrylic shop can help me out. It's literally snowing in Chicago. The acrylic needs to be perfect if we want to pull this off. Let's get back to the studio. I'm going to deconstruct our PC case and get it ready for our tank. Some of these parts aren't needed and take up valuable space. Let's carefully cut them out with this angle grinder. There's really no turning back now. Great, I chipped the paint. Thankfully, I have some white paint on hand. Now we're talking. I just hope I measured correctly and the tank fits. I've done this a few times, but still always get nervous. Each bond needs to be perfect for the tank to hold water. And while we wait for the glue to dry, let's go check out my local fish store. Our PC tank is just over 10 gallons, so we need very small fish for this to work. Check this out. These are the world's smallest puffer fish. Let's get them back to the studio. I'm going to use API Stress Coat and Quick Start to prepare their quarantine tank. Welcome home Puff and Pee Wee. They're called pea puffers. I'm assuming because they look like tiny peas with fins. They're unbelievably cute. Now we just have to get that in there. I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like it's gonna fit. It just fits, but there's no space in here for our parts. The only thing that fits are these RGB fans. We're gonna need a plan B. I found this super slim PC online. This does not look very powerful, but it's worth a shot. It's the next day and our PC package has arrived. If this doesn't fit, this will have all been for nothing. Thankfully, it fits perfectly. This is awesome. I also cut an opening at the top so I can service the tank. Pea puffers love heavily planted tanks, so I ordered their favorite plants to bring this PC to life. I can't wait to see our tiny friends hiding amongst this lush jungle. Our pea puffers are going from an empty tank in the store to a beautiful jungle here in the studio. Now we just need to add our stress coat to make our tap water safe and our quick start to jumpstart our cycle. And we can't forget about our heater and cycle filter. This means Puff and Pee Wee don't have to wait too much longer to check out the PC. The tank looks incredible, but will the PC actually work? Let's add in our tiny friends and find out. Just a couple weeks ago, they were in the store looking thin and scared. Just look at them now, buzzing all over the place. They always come rushing to the glass for snack time. Look at those fat little tummies. They're so cute. Now it's time to fire up the PC. It is definitely not a gaming PC, but it runs Minecraft like a champ. The fans keep the case cool and even have these soft white lights. We just built a PC in a fish tank. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you here next week.